Feed forward. What is feed forward? And as surely you see the term feed forward in Betaflight and you see it in iNav, that obviously it's going to be doing the same thing, right? And it's doing the same thing between quadcopters and fixed wings, correct? It's the same term. Well, it's not that simple. In the RC hobby, we use the term feed forward pretty loosely, and it means two very different things between quadcopters and fixed wings, and it acts very differently between Betaflight and iNav. So let's talk about it. Now, luckily, there is similarities on what FeedForward does between Betaflight and iNav on quadcopters versus fixed wing. That's right. I talked about Betaflight now supports fixed wing and kind of always did, but in Betaflight 4.6, it's going to support it even a little bit more. Not as well as iNav, but it is going to be supporting fixed wings a little bit better than it has in the past. So what FeedForward does for quadcopters in Betaflight and iNav is it's measuring the rate of change of your stick moves. So if I take a stick and move it kind of slow, that would give me a FeedForward signal. Let's just say it's five, just picking a number. If I move my stick fast, that's going to give me a feed forward signal, say, let's 100. So if I move it super fast, then maybe it's 150, 200. Depends how fast I can move my fingers. And the higher the feed forward gain is, the higher you would get in that stick movement. So if I would move my fingers slow again, but I would double my feed forward gain. So instead of that five number, maybe it goes up to like a 10 number. So again, between Betaflight and INAF for quadcopters, multi-copters, multi-rotors, whatever you want to call them, it is measuring the rate of change of your stick move. It's like the little mouse accelerator that you have in Windows and however fast you move the mouse is how fast it kind of launched the little mouse cursor off to the left or the right. That's what it's doing. And what it's doing with that signal is it's sending it directly to the mixer, to the pit sum, which then goes directly into the mixer to kind of compensate and get the quad moving on a roll left or roll right or flip forward or backward. Again, in Betaflight 9F, that rate of change is going to try to boost the signal, get it right to the motors to get them spinning up. We're not going to wait for the P term, for instance, to notice that there's an error like, hey, I moved the sticks, but the quad didn't move yet. And then the P is going to do its calculations. And we're not going to wait for that. We're just going to detect how fast we're moving it, send it right to the pit sum and go. But for fixed wings like this bad boy, the difference on what feed forward does between beta flight and INAV is a really big difference. And you need to know and understand that if you are dabbling with fixed wings in either. So what feed forward is doing in INAV for fixed wings is it's actually adjusting how far your servos throw when you are in acro mode, not in manual mode. When you're in manual mode, however far you move the sticks gives just directly adjusts how fast far your servos go. It's like there's almost no flight controller there at all. It'd almost be like you'd hook your servos right to a receiver in manual mode. However, when you're in acro mode, if you set your feed forward gains, these guys right here, here, and here, if you set these to zero, your control surfaces here, as you can see here, they will hardly move. Because again, feed forward in acro mode is adjusting how far your servos throw. Now you don't want to confuse that here with the roll rates, pitch rates, and yaw rates in your rates tab. That has to deal with what is the sustained rotational rate in degrees per second, how many degrees of rotation per second can the airplane or quadcopter do. Now, luckily with iNav, you have auto tuning in the modes here that you can check on, set to an auxiliary switch, and then go fly your plane and it will tune your feed forward and your max roll pitch and yaw rate, your max feed forward for all three axes and your max rates for all three axes. That is the only thing that auto tune tunes for a fixed wing in iNav. It does not tune your P, I, or D gains at all, period. I really think it should be called something like auto rates or something like that because it seems like auto tune it would tune all the gains but it doesn't it just tunes your max roll pitch and yaw rotational rate and also the feed forward gains to achieve that rotational rate now the other weird thing in inav with feed forward is that on the gui interface you can see right here it's called feed forward but if we hop into the cli here this is where it really gets funky if you're using a fixed wing, it's called feed forward or FF. So if I go into here and type in get FF underscore, you will see there I have a fixed wing feed forward roll pitch and y'all. 
But if I'm using a quadcopter, it is not called feed forward for that. You can see that's the FW for fixed wing abbreviation. In the multi-copter MC mode, with your, if you're using INAV for multi-copter or quadcopters, it's then gonna be called the control derivative. So if I type in get CD underscore my CD term here for multi-copter, that's actually the feed forward gain you'll see on the GUI. So again, if you're in fixed wing mode or have a fixed wing, your CLI variable is gonna be the fixed wing underscore feed forward underscore. But if you're using INAV for multi-copters, it's gonna be MC underscore CD for control derivative. And the control derivative means basically it's the rate of change. And that's what the a that's what the word derivative means, rate of change. And it's the rate of change of your control signal. So it makes sense uh, for what it's called in quadcopter terminology. It's just confusing because there's two different things uh, depending on what you have there. Now in beta flight feed forward between a quadcopter mixer or a fixed wing mixer is going to give you the same thing. Feed forward is feed forward, period. However, there is another term that's not exposed yet on the CLI that's called the S term or servo throw term. So in that one, we'd have to adjust for now those terms in the GUI and you would type in get S underscore and then if you browse down you will see this s underscore pitch s underscore roll and s underscore yaw they're all set to zero as the default because fixed wing is very new and as of this video you have to load a special use underscore wing uh, as a define to make the build to even have them show up in the cli at all and and that will change in the future so that i'm talking about beta flight 4.6 as of this video it's not even released yet and once it's released maybe that's changed and maybe in beta flight 4.7 or 5 it's more formalized but as of right now as of making this video if you want to control the servo throw in acro mode not in manual mode in acro mode then you would have to adjust these terms and they work the same uh, in principle the same principles work the same with these terms these s terms as feed forward does in fixed wings on in inav Okay, so hopefully that helps. I know it might be a little confusing, but again, at least I'm here telling you about this stuff and you're not trying to just wander through the woods and figure it out. Just remember, feed forward in INAV has to deal with servo throw and INAV and in beta flight, feed forward and for quadcopters have to deal with the magnitude of how fast you're moving the stick. So it's like an accelerator to get the quad to kick into a move or feel a little bit more... Uh, tight in your stick tracking and feel a little bit more connected to your stick inputs. However, in beta flight, feed forward is still that. And then you have the S terms that deal with how far the control surfaces move in acro mode. Again, in acro mode on both of those is where these things come into play. If you're in manual mode for fixed wings, then you know, you just, you're know you just flying the thing. It's like it's not even have a flight controller, you're just flying it by the sticks. And uh, there's no manual mode. Well. Yeah, there is no manual mode in quadcopter, so you're using the flight controller all the time or you wouldn't be able to fly the thing. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them down below. And if you are interested in some of the new goodies that Betaflight has for fixed wings, uh, I'm going to be doing some content on that. So make sure you hit subscribe down below. Thanks, everybody. Hope this helps and I'll see you on the next one.